It's not giving what it's supposed to have gave. Please tell me where was the drama in that conversation? Where was the drama? Where was the drama? Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Queenie. For those who don't know me, reviewing Love Island season 10, episode 24. Before I get into it, please make sure to like this video, subscribe and hit the bell and leave a comment down below. Discord family, at, at this point, if y'all don't know that I love you, you're delusional because same way the producers were delusional for thinking that Molly's return was going to be epic. I was starting to to I was starting to watch the show live from my vehicle. <laughs> like it's, it's, I was like, I need to catch all the tea. I went out to lunch with my friend who lives like literally 30 minutes away from me. She came down this direction so we could watch the show together just for her to go back home. And now it's like an hour. Like the show has this in a choke hold, honey, a choke hold speaking of chokeholds ty has a chokehold on ella as we know however production was slick with this one they were slick and they brought in somebody who has unfinished business with ella essentially they work for the same modeling agency and she had an interest in him and she thought he was going to ask her out but he didn't and then she went on the show so now having this reconnection with ty who kind of was like who are you but then this new connection that's an old connection with locks guys did you notice i'm in no place to talk about people's hair right now my hair is in transition please mind your business he uses bobby pins to keep the lock fringe why i feel like like just let them just let them fall it's okay just I don't know. I feel like just let them fall. It's weird. But essentially, um, having that connection that is already established might give Ella an opportunity to explore something outside of Ty because I think she wouldn't have otherwise. Going down the list of who is into who, we have Jess who is into curtains, Whitney who is into locks and curly. Curly is cute, guys. He kind of reminds me of, um, oh shoot, I forgot the name. What was his name? He's cute regardless, okay? He's my personal fave. Uh, Leah is into locks and curly. Um, oh, same as Whitney's connection, eh? Leah! Go somewhere. Uh, Katie is unsure who she's into right now, but in the morning she's she's into um, locks and curly. Wait a minute now. I mean, yeah, okay, it's fine, but like... Hmm. And um, apparently Cody has has no prospects. Cody has no prospects. And even Polly. OK, so you guys asked for a flat top to be changed to either Polly D or Jersey Shore. He will be now called Polly D. Nobody's into Polly D. And nobody's into Cody. And apparently Cody has or had a girlfriend on the outside. This man told this girl. He was off to a work trip. I guess technically it is a work trip. And um, it really was Love Island. And she found out by seeing him on the show. A mess. Jess is talking to Curtains, who claims that he is ready to settle down. Like I've traveled, I've met loads of yeah. people. I'm, I'm done with that side, so yeah. I'm looking for something. So if you are open, then I'd love to. I'm not, so I'm, get to not, know. I'm not close to that. I caught yeah, you no, That's nice. That's that, I'll you take know. that. I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> Jess's taste, honestly, and 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 like, I'm gonna say no shade, but we know it's shade. Like I, her taste is just as questionable at Whitney's at this point, and I'm just like, I, what? Please tell me what the intrigue is. Please tell me. And I shouldn't even say that because there shouldn't be this push for only people who are conventionally attractive should have interest. Like, no, everybody deserves love. Everybody's attractive to somebody. Like, literally, beauty's in the eye of the beholder. This girl was knocking her head back, full teeth, laughing, and I'm here waiting for the joke. I was here waiting for the joke. Like, sis, where's. <laughs> Whitney says that although it's not hard for her to find a man, <laughs> shoot, I know that's right, she wants somebody who is worth the wait. I think Casa and Moore's come out a good time for everyone. Like, I'm gonna yeah. definitely get to know you, get to know the girls. I'm not a one, one night type of like, I need to be speaking to a girl if I'm like trying to pursue anything or yeah. I, I can't. Would you wanna share a bed with me tonight? Yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> why not? I was surprised she was open to sharing the bed. I guess at this point, um, the women in Casa are more inclined to 
share beds, even if there might not be an interest there. Um, typically it's the girls who have a strong connection with somebody on the other villa who don't want to share a bed. It looks like they were just put together because there weren't too many strong interests going around the villa. So it's like, hey, you two make something work. But yeah, she agreed to, to share the bed. And I'm like, hmm. Ella and Lux are reconnecting. And she didn't say this word for word, but to me, I processed it as he reminds her of home. I literally forgot about my life back home, like my whole life. Do you know what I mean? Me. Yeah. Before I came, I thought we were going to go on a date. Did you actually? <laughs> yeah, because you kept saying it to me. Oh, I relaxed, man. I you did. Once. What is a sleeping situation? I'm, I'm sleeping in my bed. Yeah, but who's there? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah. I love that they have unfinished business. Cause like I said earlier, I think that's the only way Ella was gonna give somebody a chance is if she already wanted to give him a chance before coming on the show. But did you peep what Ty said? The man that are gonna go for Ella are gonna be like me. You don't care. That's, that's what's peep, bro. Man ain't gonna care. Like she likes men who really don't give a shit. Like, <laughs> if my man said that about me, I would crawl into myself and die because what are you saying about me? Yeah, you're talking about you and guys like you, but that's a reflection of me if I constantly attract those kind of guys. Like, oh, play that at movie night. Please play that at movie night. Guys, I think Catherine is, Catherine, Catherine is moving on. Catherine is moving on. Honey, she says she's into this man. I don't see it, but she says she likes him. You see yourself fully closed off with him? No, I'm not like, we've both said like, obviously we're not fully closed off. We're open to obviously getting to know other people or whatnot. I'm more of a person yeah. that works on connection. If I speak to you and I'm vibing yeah. with you, that's what I fuck with, you yeah. understand? Obviously you're good looking like mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. I actually can't wait to actually get to know you. You will, you will. You'll Have get a lot of questions. Me. I need to see more from him. It is the first day and you know everybody's coming in with essentially a cheat code. And I hate, like I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. I don't know why Love Island feels the need to keep everybody in the loop of what's going on in the villa. Like, no, because then of course these new people are gonna seem like either game players or they're gonna be like the perfect person to the person they're talking to. But it's like, yeah, they know everything about you. It's not fair. Um, Essentially, when she's having this conversation, she says that she and Scott are not closed off. And I'm just like, I guess we were right to read into the conversation that she and Scott had the same day that Tyreek and Ella came back closed off because he had said in the here and now we're closed off. And I guess they have an understanding that when the dynamics change, it's fair game. And so cool. She's, she's okay with that. But I'm just like... We're just gonna neglect that conversation altogether. Like you're not even gonna acknowledge the fact that y'all had the conversation of being closed off. But if things change, like I don't know, I personally felt a little bit like, <gasps> wow. In the night, the sleeping arrangement is that Jess is with Curtains, Katie is with Cody, Leah is with Polly D, Catherine is with One Chain, Ella is with Locks, and Whitney is with Curly. So the next day, um, the guys are the guys in the main villa are excited. And that includes Scott and Ty. They're actually kind of excited for the new people to come in. With Ty, his whole thing is like, I don't know if she's gonna be faithful. And so should I entertain it? Should I not? That's what he's grappling with right now, right? In the girls' villa, they're pretty content with the Costa boys that have arrived. They sounded far too happy. You have to just approach this like a new situation, new girls. You sound very happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> you reckon deep down your head could get turned? I don't think so, guys, but if he's gonna be there and he's gonna be flirting with all these girls, I'm gonna talk, talk to Uzi more, like. Yeah. He's got every opportunity to do that right now. Yeah, and he will. Yeah. Because you know. he's single. He's gonna take every opportunity he can to enjoy being single oh, until he's fully And he'll off. use it as an excuse. I found it interesting how the girls were using the same, the same kind of philosophy that Ty was using in that, He's a flirt, naturally. And so when new women come around, he's going to do just that. You might as well flirt if he's gonna do that. And I'm just like, this is so toxic. Like, if she wants to explore things, don't do it because you assume your other person is gonna do it anyways. It's like, do it because you want to. Do it because there is something strong being formed with a new person, not like, well, you're gonna do it, so I might as well do it. Why, why are we doing that? Why are we doing that? But again, I'm not on this show. Y'all know I would not be on this show. A show for me is like, love is blind, child. Let me have a conversation with you for about three days. We're, we'll get married. Yeah, 
yeah, yeah, we'll get married. But these people, they're like, well, they're going to flirt, so I'm going to flirt too. And, and they might not be faithful, so why should I be faithful? I'm just like, whoo, couldn't be me. It is time for the Casa Girls to arrive. I'm not going to lie. I think two of them don't have nicknames because I just couldn't think of anything when it came to them. But of the girls, we have Tresses, Vixen, Fairy, Danielle, Babyface, and Molly, who wants to reconnect with Zachariah. I mean, I don't even know what else she could have done because there are no new men here. She knows everybody who's in the villa. They should have sent her in with the girls. Like, I... Anyways. That girl looks so much like Molly. I think we need to talk that. Of course. <laughs> um, she wants to know if her connection with Zachariah was real. It was real. A real sham. The man, he... He does not have a commitment bone in his body. And if he did have one, he would have extracted it because right now he does not want to exercise it. He really doesn't. And I feel like the producers really did a disservice to him because he can't even crack on with the new girls because he's focused on his connection with Molly. Like, can we reconnect? What Can we reignite what we had before? Is she going to be upset if I do start to connect with somebody else? Like they just took his whole game away from him you know wow i actually kind of feel a way about about that yeah i actually do kind of feel a way about that i don't like i don't like that but they also took away molly's game too but but that was a part of the game that's different bringing back somebody who you had a connection with in casa is not how the game goes and so if i was somebody on the show i'd be vexed the women are asking the guys who's open and immediately to my surprise, Ty's like, I'm closed. I mean, closed things off about yeah. three days ago. Not so, missing yeah. the game too much then. No, I'm still game a little bit here and there sometimes, but yeah. Scott? Yeah, I'm with Catherine at the moment. Things going well, but this has obviously put a spanner in the works, on it, so. Mitch? Um, yeah, I've been single for about three weeks now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't really know how I'm still here. Yeah. It's just a vibe, I'm having a good time. I just need to talk. Fair enough. Damn the tension. You know what? If this man is on his best behavior, I might have to root for them. I might have to root for them. They still give me toxic twins and I think that's gonna last until a long time out of this villa if they stay together. But he, he might be a changed man, y'all. He might be a changed man. Zachariah wants to get to know Molly a little bit more. Obviously, we know she's looking for answers. I don't know what kind of answers, even though she already watched the whole show. But okay, whatever. Let's move on. Mitch is a free agent. But I don't think the women are going to be interested. Like, he gives stage five clinger and it's scary. And I'm pretty sure, like, on the outside in his natural habitat, he's more even keel. But in this villa where you cannot escape these people, I would not go there. In the Casa Villa, Catherine is talking to one chain and she says that although things are going well between her and Scott, she's keeping her options open. Obviously, I'm not here. I mean, like, yeah, I'm closed off. I'm I thought still you're open. holding back a little I'm bit, not, though. I feel I'm like not sure. Yesterday, I kind of was because I didn't want to be disrespectful. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't want to be that girl. Tell me if you saw that telltale sign when it comes to Catherine, the throwing the head back, 42 teeth, laughing, super giddy girl when she's into somebody. Personally, I didn't see it. Maybe I didn't want to see it, but I didn't see it. So I'm just like, the connection with him is not clicking for me. Like, where is the interest? Or maybe she's learned that she's a little bit too available in the beginning and she's trying to be a little bit more coy. Maybe if, if that's her game, okay, then fine. But I was looking at this connection like, she don't like him. But then in the trailer, she about to kiss him outside of the challenge. I said, ah, I'm lost. Ella says that she does miss Ty. However, she's gonna allow herself to have some fun. No, I do wanna like keep talking and get to know each other more. Trying. Well, are you happy I came in? <laughs> yeah, obviously. Oh yeah. Yeah, nice to see you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want a guy that knows it's me. Like they don't need to be doing tests. They don't need to. You weren't getting treated the way you deserve to be. Sorry. Yeah. I don't know. I just feel like you've been upset. Yeah. A lot, like, probably more than you've been happy from what I've saw. Locks is saying what I've been saying this entire season. Yes, you like this man, but it seems like there are so many downs. And to me, that is kind of a red flag, especially when you are in the honeymoon period, when you just met this person. Why is it always like, 
I'm hurt. You're hurting me. I'm mad. I'm frustrated. I'm all these kinds of things. And yes, Love Island is a unique experience, but I'm like, still, there are other people who can have a better time, even though their person is exploring. Like, I don't know. Her feelings for him are really strong. But then that means when it's low, it's really low for her. So I would just be wondering, is it worth it? Is it worth it? Maybe Ty would be worth it in the long run. Because it seems like when he cares for somebody, which he does care for Ella, like he really tries to be the best man he can be. But he also has a little part of him that's not quite ready to be that kind of guy full time. So I'm just like... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'd like to see her give Locks a try. Just, just for bands. The episode ends with the longest friggin' dialogue ever on the show. And essentially, Zach is saying that he's gassed, right? That Molly is back. He wants to continue where they left off. She is a little bit frustrated because she knows that he just hopped on to the next thing within 24 hours. So they have this conversation and I'm just like, what was the point of this? I'm very glad you're back in here. Okay. It's just from what I've seen. You look, like, you look great. Have you been still thinking of me or not? Pardon? Have you still been thinking of me or not? Yeah, look, I have. Like the way you look at me, I used to think, oh my God, he looks at me in like such a nice way. And then seeing you look at Katie in the same way, look at Whitney in the same nah, way. I, would, like, I, would, oh. I wouldn't say I did. It's a war worth fighting. The only... The only thing that would have made her return justified in my head or justifiable in my head is if she really brought some heat. And through this whole conversation, she she's continually asking him, was I in your mind though? Were you thinking about me? Like, and I'm just here thinking she's going to fold. He could easily just say, yeah, you were on my mind the entire time. Like, I felt like I had to substitute other people for you and they just wouldn't measure up. Like, listen, if I was a guy, oh, I would milk this situation so well because all she's asking for was, am I still like your top person? Do you still think about me? Even though you were seeing other people. That's an easy thing to get out of. That is so easy. And here is Zachary, Zachariah, sorry, struggling. Oh, 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 you know, you, you, you look good though. But you look good though. I still have your eye mask though. You look good though. Yeah, Bersky. Like it's just... It was such an easy layup for him because Molly is ready, willing, and able, okay? She's playing it up like she's got a bone to pick with you, but we know that's not real. Like, anyways, we'll see in the next episode where that goes. It, it's It's gotta give me something. It's got to give me something. Her only lifeline to stay in the villa long-term would be for Zach. And honestly, if you guys make them win, Mm. I'm going to be very upset. That's, that's all you need to know.